um, I think you were designing hats or something like that. I think it was like two years ago, roughly. And then you kind of switched your focus into becoming a life coach. Mm -hmm. Now, like what was the whole process of you becoming, going into becoming a life coach? And were you kind of like inspired by other people saying, Hey, you know, you're doing some cool things. Like I want to do cool things. So what, what was the whole, like, you know, steps to making to, to become a life coach? Really? I was so like dishappy with, is that a word? Dishappy? It's unhappy. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll call that just, yeah, we'll call it a word. <laughs> I'm like, dishappy, whatever. Yeah. Um, I was so unhappy with like my day-to-day -day life. And as a personal trainer, like I was helping so many people reach fitness goals, right? Like whether it be weight loss or strength or whatever it may be, like I'm helping all these people um, reach their goals. And at the end it was like, let's say six months and they've lost their 30 pounds that they want, whatever it was. Um, they're like, cool. Yep. See you later. Yeah. Like, it, and they like, it's like not this huge hurrah. And I'm like, you just create, like you just hit a huge life goal. And it like, it just got me like into the mindset of like, I'm not happy with like my current situation either. Like I reach said and said their quote unquote fitness goals. And it's like, cool, you know, but it's like, okay, so I'm basically like distracting myself from their other 23 hours of the day. Like, how can I get them excited about everything else? So it's not just another thing that's like done and over with. Um, and it was really like me being so unhappy to the core of myself and like who I was as a human that I like, I really started listening. It, it really started with like me starting to listen to Jay Shetty podcast. I don't know if you know Jay Shetty. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know. Yeah. Um, so that was really what kind of started like my huge, like mindset shift and thought process, like change as a whole, just become like a totally different human being. So I was like, so like stuck and living in the past and X, Y, Z, like so many people get caught in. So it's like everything I am, I would classify myself as fitness, right? Like who is Briley outside of fitness? I could not answer that question for literally the life of me. Like yeah. I it was nobody. I was mm -hmm an absolutely terrible human in my eyes. So I was like, I, that needs to switch. I don't want to be re related to fitness anymore, even though I'm probably always going to be, and that's fine. I'm glad I could be in motivation in that way. I want people to realize and know that like to be truly happy, you have to flip your whole mindset and framework as a human. Um, and then the fitness and stuff will, will follow later. So I ended up you really using it as like a personal thing. And I took the Jay Shetty course and I'm like, you know what, this is like something I want to, and I made a complete 180 in like, you know, I mean over the last three years for sure, but taking that course, my entire life has changed my entire thought process of every little movement I do now. And like, think is like very strategic. And I'm always asking myself questions. And I was like, wow, like if I can go from who I was to who I am now, like everybody can do this right? It's just believing and having like a good foundation to be able to change and shift your mindset. So that course led me into, okay, how can I do this and help this for other people? Um, and it's a life coaching course, of, you know, so it started off as more of a personal growth thing. And it turned into, I want to help others realize that they can do it too. Um, so that's really what happened. And yes, I was selling hats. I had that job for eight years because my boss was cool as shit. Like my boss yeah. was so cool. <laughs> Um, you know, but I was, I learned I was using and I was like, okay, I'll do life coaching on the side until I can get used to it. And then I realized like, I was really just using that as an excuse to like not fully dive. So like mm -hmm. I gave myself, I came up with a plan. I gave myself, I think it was two months. I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to work on hats for two more months. And like, yep. I'm putting in my, my quits. And I had an email written. I was like, August 1st, this was August 1st, 2023. I had this email written as soon as I woke up on August 1st, I sent that email and I'm like, holy shit, I just quit my job like with nothing. Right. So like I full dived and I was like, I know this is what I'm meant to do. It's what I'm supposed to do. Sent that email and probably been the best decision I've ever made. Yeah. Now, now with your boss, cause I know, I know you were, your boss was like, as you said, cool as shit. So did, did they understand what was going on and like with the path that you wanted to take? And they were like, yeah, I completely understand. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, hundred percent. She was like, I can't believe it took you eight years. <laughs> <laughs> See, she told me from day one, like day one, when she hired me, she said, this is not going to be your lifetime job, but she definitely creates like that atmosphere where like people want to stay. Right. So yeah. yeah. The day I sent that email, she was like, so stoked for me. And the only thing she said is I can't believe it took you eight years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really yeah. cool. It, it's, it's cool to have like boss that knows like 
you're not really meant to this job and then kind of like find about when you are about to time to leave they're like okay finally like you know let's let's see what you can do and obviously she's probably like yeah if you need any help just let me know and you know kind of go from there yep that's yeah, awesome that's really cool regularly. she made my she makes my teams my team my grid team hats and stuff so <laughs> that's awesome that's really yeah. cool now now what now how is it now how do you attract clients to you know, come to your program to, to get help. Everything I've done so far is organic straight off my Instagram page. Um, I, I'm learning how important content is, but I'm still like a very much so beginner and learning about it. And it's like more of like that self doubt stuff of like overthinking, like, is this good enough? Is this going to reach the people I want it to reach? Are people going to respond? Are people even going to care? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like I'm, I'm reframing that right now as I'm getting more and more into content. Um, but yeah, every, everything's organic. Just hoping, hoping it'll click with the people that need help. Yeah. I mean, you got the perfect room for it with that back with that wall. So, I mean, you know, just you could talk to people and look really professional, which you are and kind of go from there. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. This is, I actually just put this wall up last week. I know. Week. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was watching your stories. I'm like, oh, this is that's gonna look so cool, like so cool. Yeah. And then the if if you can get like I don't know if you if you would want, but like get a neon light for that back corner next to the shelves and kind of like have your logo or something like that. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Some stuff in the works, but the wood's up. So. That's yeah, that's cool. awesome. And, <laughs> yeah. and I I know I know last time we talked to you, we were talking about you starting a YouTube channel. You have one already, and you're posting your workouts and. You, um, I saw the one, uh, I think the last one you've done about your 2024 20, goals. And so are you looking to produce more content for that? Or is it just mainly like what you're just focusing on Instagram? You, you know, that YouTube channel started as, as purely fitness and yeah. trying to help people realize that it doesn't take two hours a day to, to just feel better. Um, it takes 15, 10, not even, it can take 10 to 20 minutes a few times a week without any weight or equipment because people yeah. we really like to help people with the excuses that to help realize like it doesn't take much um yep. i have phased out of that mainly because my editor was really busy um which is fine um we all have multiple million things going on but it's led me into being able to focus more on the life coaching um obviously youtube is is not a it's a very patient, yes, yes. patient thing you need for, for that to build. Um, it is crazy. I actually did build. I think there's almost like, I think there's like 871, 71 subscribers. I, I literally just, I just just turned it on like, like a half hour before we started talking. So yeah, I haven't posted a video on that forever, but yeah, I did post a 2024 goals as far as like a life coaching thing, just to like, see if that would, if that outlet would kind of get me some more life coaching clients. Um, but yeah, I honest, I'll be honest. I haven't really checked my YouTube much. Um, kind of phased out just so I can focus on this. I've also like been really big into learning more about business and entrepreneurship and obviously all this stuff. So trying to focus on a million different outlets is it's not helpful. So yeah. I'm like honed in on my life coaching stuff right now. Yeah. So, so my, I, I, I have a little pet peeve about entrepreneurship. So I hate that word. Like that is like the one word I do not like, I do not like for, for me personally, because, because everyone uses it. It's like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, what do you do? Like, oh, I, I'm working on it. You know, it's just like, not, you're not an entrepreneur yet. So I don't know why you're doing it. So it, I don't, I think it, it was like a really bad word in the like nineties and the early two thousands. And then once like Gary V came around and like the entrepreneur word started getting like, like super, super cool. So that's why everyone started using it. Yeah. I mean, I can see that. Um, for me specifically, I, I am trying to build like a, a legit business. Well, and, yeah, I mean, yeah, you you got the certification, like you yeah. and you're you're doing it, so it's not like you know you're not doing it and say you have it, like you know have it in your bio or something like that. Right, right, yeah. I, I'm not putting it out as an entrepreneur. Like, obviously, I'm like, no, I'm a life coach, right? Yeah. First and foremost, like the back end of the business, it doesn't matter to my clients, right? That's not what's mm -hmm. going to telling people I'm building a business is not going to get me life coaching clients. So yeah. No. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm um, also, you're a self mastery coach. So what's the difference between the life coach section and in that section? 
so life coaching is kind of like the the bigger umbrella of it and then i've like niched down into like self and emotional mastery um, okay really it's just becoming aware of oneself and one's emotions and one's thoughts and trying to be able to disconnect from them because so many people had probably go as far as to say that 96 plus percent of people are very emotional reactors right and then they come back and they're like damn it i wish i would have done x y or z or <laughs> yep. something differently right yep. so as far as self mastery it's it's i'm really helping my clients become like more patient with themselves and like yeah. being able to take a step back from emotional reaction um just so it doesn't haunt them later basically um yeah self-mastery and emotional mastery is you know just like just because you feel these emotions doesn't mean you are those emotions true right? you separate, yeah. separate the two is so that's really like what it comes down to as far as like self-mastery yeah and, that, and it's almost like in the political space too because like i don't i don't really get in, into politics like that's not that's like one thing i don't want to get involved with but like you see that in in people that are like follow like you know either republican or democrat they get like super emotionally charged if they see like a trump flag or like a biden flag and it's like you know it's like just take just take a step back or take a deep breath in and like just you know it's not really hurting you it's just you know they like that or they like that person so it's like whatever you know just don't don't do anything stupid and to affect you or or them yeah and that's what's crazy is like uh, yeah politics i don't i stay out of i have not been in, into politics for at least four years like just because like they, they said good for you yeah mostly reacting and like it's like by by allowing like doesn't matter which side you're on when you get worked up from the other side you're letting them win right like they're controlling your emotions right now you're letting them dictate how you feel in that moment so technically yeah. you both are like kind of screwing each other over right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 i'm also like politics is a hard hard pass for me at this point i'm gonna focus on me and that's that's it <laughs>